In the beginning of this chapter, let us study about division algorithm. For any given numbers A and B, where B is not zero, that means it is a non-zero number. If we get another whole number such that Q and R, then we can write down that A is equal to BQ plus R, where zero is less than equal to R less than B. In general sense, we will call that A is the dividend, B is the divisor, Q is the quotient, and R is the remainder. And the value of remainder is always going to be either 0 or 1 less than that of the divisor. The condition is B is not 0. That means this algorithm can be used for every division. If A is dividend as I told you, B is the divisor, Q is the quotient and R is the remainder. Euclid's division lemma. For every positive integers A and B, if we get other non-negative integers q and r such that a is equal to bq plus r, 0 less than equal to r less than b. Sometimes we make use of another form of this division lemma. That would be a is equal to bq plus r where minus half of modulus b is less than or less than is less than r or less than equal to half of modulus b. That is another method of representing the same division lemma. Some important results that we derive on the basis of the division lemma are that if b is equal to 0 for obviously a is equal to bq plus r, where 0 is less than equal to r less than b. So obviously 0 is less than equal to r less than 2 because here the we have taken the value of b as 2. So 0 less than equal to r less than b becomes 0 less than equal to r less than b. So for r is equal to 0 or r is equal to 1. So a would be 2q or else a would be 2q plus 1. Substituting the values of b and r in the original a is equal to bq plus r. So for every integer a which can be represented in the form of 2q which is the general form of an even number. Whereas 2q plus 1, that is the general form of an odd number, where q is obviously an in integer. Here if a is equal to 2q, it is divisible by 2, so obviously I told you just now that it is an even integer. Whereas if a is equal to 2q plus 1 and q is a member of integers, that is q belongs to z, then obviously a is an odd integer. Thus, even integer is represented in the form of 2k where k belongs to z, and the odd integer is represented in the form of 2k plus 1, where once again, k belongs to z. Under the condition, if b is equal to 3, and obviously, a is equal to bq plus r, substituting the value of b, we will get 0 less than equal to r less than 3. That means the values of r can be 0, 1, or 2. So, substituting the values of r and b in the original, a is equal to bq plus r. We get a is equal to 3q, a is equal to 3q plus 1, or else a is equal to 3q plus 2. Thus, for all the integers a, which are in the form of 3k, 3k plus 1, 3k plus 2, here we have taken q as k and k is an integer, that is it is belonging to z. Here a is equal to 3k plus 2, that can be rewritten as 3k plus 3, plus 2 minus 3, that is adding and subtracting 3. That gives us, from the first pair, 3k plus 3. I think 3 is common, so 3 into k plus 1. And 2 minus 3, that is minus 1. If we take k plus 1 as k dash, we can represent that as 3k dash plus 1, where k dash is k plus 1. That means, every odd integer which is not divisible by 3 can be represented in the form of 3k plus 1 or else 3k minus 1. That is 3k plus minus 1. If b is equal to 4, obviously the value of b is 4 and so the remainder is going to be 0 less than equal to r less than 4. So substituting the values of 0, 1, 2 and 3 in the original a is equal to bq plus r. What do we get? a is equal to 4k, a is equal to 4k plus 1 a is equal to 4k plus 2 or else a is equal to 4k plus 3. Here we have taken q as k. 
and k is obviously an integer that is it belongs to z. So if r is 0 or 2, you can see that it is 4k and 4k plus 2. That is 2 into 2k or 2 into 2k plus 1. Taking out 2 common from this and 2 common from this, we get 2 into 2k or else 2 into 2k plus 1. But any number which is divisible by 2 or a multiple of 2, I think it's an even number. So in all these cases, a is going to be obviously an even integer. But if r is equal to 1, then a or 3, then a is equal to 4k plus 1 or else 4k plus 3, where we have taken q as k and k is an integer. In all these cases, obviously, a is an odd integer. So, what we can remember is that for a is equal to 4k plus 3, once again, we can add and subtract 4 in this particular case. So, that is going to give us 4 common from 4k plus 4. And that is going to give us 4 into k plus 1. And plus 3 minus 4, that is equal to minus 1. So, if we take k plus 1 as k dash, then we get 4k dash minus 1. Where obviously I have taken that k dash is k plus 1. So, each odd integer can be represented in the form of 4k plus or minus 1. So, what important results do we come to know? That using this particular thing. Any positive integer, if we want to select, we can select it in the form of 3k, 3k plus 1 or 3k plus 2. Or else 3k minus 1 and 3k plus 1. For any part is a positive integer not divisible by 3. We select 3k minus 1 and obviously 3k plus 1. Any positive odd integer if we can select as 4k plus 1, 4k plus 3 or else 4k minus 1 and 4k plus 1. Here if a and b belongs to natural number that means they are natural numbers. A and B do not have common factor. That means they do not have any factor common other than 1. And if A is a number divisible by A, that means if N is divisible by A, sorry, and B both, then N is divisible by A and A into B also. We represent it like this. That if B is the factor of A, it can be written as B slash A. Here B is less than or equal to A. If B is not a factor of A, then we can write it down as B slash has to be cancelled, so B is not a factor of A. So that is how we represent it in a symbolical form.